Health Secretary Francisco Duque earlier said the health department might not proceed with its own autopsy on children who allegedly died due to Dengvaxia if the public attorney's office would share the results of their autopsy. According to Duque, Undersecretary Eric Domingo had requested Pau to share information, but he has yet to receive any response. To talk more about this, let me bring in Health Undersecretary Eric Domingo. Yusek Domingo, welcome to The Big Story. Hi, good evening. Well, first of all, what we just said, uh, we reported that you supposedly said wala pang response. Has there been a response already? Well, this morning I did receive a letter. I asked them the, to have to have a meeting you know, between our medical experts and theirs and to share whatever information we have. But they refused um, the request. They and, said no. Yes, yeah, saying that it would be very difficult for them to share information with us because the OH is also under investigation and they might file cases against the department. Actually, that's why we did our own uh, expert investigation on the matter and the clinical parts. However, you have to realize that if you're going to do an examination, an autopsy or a post-mortem examination, you need the consent of the parents. And at this time, the lawyers of the public attorney's office have been given the consent by the parents, uh, but we do not have that yet. Okay, Yusek Domingo, maybe you could just I mean, um, uh, walk us through for everybody's clarification, how many investigations have been conducted or uh, either uh, completed or partially? How many agencies have looked into this and what are the different types of probes that, okay. that we can now report on? So the Department of Health has created two panels. No? The expert panel on the dengue vaccine. They just really looked at the dengue vaccine and then the evidence for it and all of the new data that has come okay, up. Okay, so this so is, no is patient involved. Oh, this yes. is, Taking out the hundreds of thousands of children yeah. that have received, it's just we're just looking at the status of the vaccine now and if we can use it or not. And they've decided that it's not a go for a mass immunization program. And then we have the PGH, Dengue uh, Investigative Task Force, because we asked a third party to take a look at the cases. So the first 14 mortalities, these are children who were given Dengvaxia and then subsequently died for one reason or another. We gave them all the case records, all the clinical records for them to take a look and try to ascertain what the cause of death was and if there was any association okay. with the uh, Dengvaxia vaccination. Due well, of the dengue. 14 cases, the experts, the, this is a panel of 10 specialists, uh, they found out that three of them definitely were given Dengvaxia, but, uh, but yet no, they contracted dengue and died within 30 days of the, inf of the, of the immunization. So that is suspect. And we know that you know they were not protected at the very least, or maybe it could have even enhanced uh, the dengue that they got. So this is still under investigation, meaning we have to have tissue samples and some genetic tests to be done on those tissue samples. Of those 14, six of them died within 30 days, which is uh, alarming because when every, every time you vaccinate someone, you watch for 30 days for any possible reactions. Mm -hmm. They died of some other illness, not dengue, but it, since it is within 30 days, this case deserves a second look. Mm -hmm. So this is a defective product. This is a bad product, and it was sold to us. So the secretary wrote them, telling them, you have to refund us, you have to give, set up an indemnity fund because some of these children are going to need medical care. Secretary Aguirre has, has, has now just recently suggested that maybe we need to bring in foreign experts for, for more independence yeah. and, and a third party from abroad. Is that still necessary at this point? Well, we are, we are actually going that route too. No? The Department of Health is coordinating with the World Health Organization, not just to help us examine cases and set, set up a good mechanism of continuing examination of cases, but also continuing surveillance and uh, you know, monitoring of the cases that are going to come up. So yes, we are looking into that, and the WHO has signified some uh, intention of helping us with it. We are open to cooperation. We want to share all the information, all the evidence that we have, and we want to make a strong case. We have to, this has to be a very strong, watertight case. If we do raise it, and then if we, if we do take any legal actions, Sanofi is a big company. Okay. They, they have they have resources, they have the expertise, they have the legal know-how. And we really need to work together. Okay, Health Undersecretary Domingo, thank you for joining us thank in the big story.